Hello everybody and welcome back. My name is Billy and today I'm here with The Foreign for another edition of 2v Tuesdays in which we are talking about MLG Dallas and the COD Championships. Hello Foreign, how are you doing? I'm doing, I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. You doing it? I'm doing it. Nice. I'm um, doing it. So uh, what, what did we talk about when we went too long for the last uh, for the last video? Oh, we're talking about um, the teams that qualified and if they're going to pull people up from whatever to for the COD Championship since two people qualified twice. Yeah, which is kind of weird. I mean, um, when, and it's it's funny because when I was watching the actual live stream, uh, Curse, which is one of the teams that made it through leagues, was playing against VVV Gaming, and VVV wins, and everyone's all excited because they're like, "Hey, you guys qualified for you know COD Championships," but it was just kind of funny because Curse already qualified through leagues. Yeah, so they had nothing to lose. They didn't give no fucks. Maybe yeah, I mean, maybe they, they took a dive the because VVV paid them off. I I doubt that that's nah. the case. I mean, you still want the victory. You want your know. name out there. Um, but it'll be interesting. Uh, here, I'll actually pull up the list right now. One of the teams that I think that should make it that was in the top contention in Dallas is Fear. I think that Fear should definitely make it in. Oh, like, uh, so they didn't qualify at all? Fear didn't? No, they didn't. They were just outside of it. So I would not be surprised if Fear ended up making it, um, if they do fill those two spots. Did Thrust even play at Dallas? Yes, they did. They Did they get destroyed? No, actually, they did, they did fairly well. They, um, they were in the loser's open bracket for a while and uh, won a few games, and then I think they got taken out by Soar. Oh, well, it's sore. What can you do? Yeah. Um, but something I wanted to talk about. All right, so you did get a chance to watch a little bit. A tad, teeny, eensy meensy bit. I think I, wa I watched a little bit of Optic, um, and I watched Complexity versus somebody else, but I don't remember who. Gotcha. So what I wanted to talk about was how OP some of these setups are. Like ridiculously op and now i understand like they're they're at a LAN event so it's all it's all skill based it's not necessarily your connection based like normal you know pubs or just playing online or leagues online um one thing that i noticed that was extremely extremely overpowered dual b23 r's oh and dual cap 40s that's what uh j cap was using was the dual cap 40s i think right i think so and I didn't, I didn't see as much of a problem with the dual cap forties because they did nerf them, so they do have a bit more of a spread uh, when you are dual wielding. But dude, those B twenty three R's, I saw so many quad feeds with those things. It was ridiculous. Dude, it, that's the thing, man. That's what every every pro player now they're running an assault rifle or an SMG, depending on the size of the map, for longer range engagements, and then dual cap forties or dual b23 r's for whenever they go inside that's all they run i was see. i actually saw some of these players using them like when it wasn't even close range things it was ridiculous you you know what i mean like by close range i mean like medium to close range but obviously oh, I know. they're not using them across the map for that they're all it using, was uh, it was pretty ridiculous was anybody they running were... a, running the scar now that they gave it a buff no it was a lot of an 94s and the m8 those are the assault rifles being used. Yeah, those are good guns. I don't know, but that's that's how MLG's always been, man. It's everybody runs the same guns because you know there's always a few guns that are a little bit better than the rest, and of course, you want to win. That's what you should run. So I think that they should do like a like a lottery style thing where they're like this gun's blocked, this gun's blocked, this gun's blocked, and the, everybody on the team has to use different weapons. That'd be interesting. That would. I I wouldn't be against that, but at the same time. Um, that's like going back to MW3 and making someone use the CM901 or something like that and <laughs> just get Dude, shit on. fuck it. They're pro players, man. Fucking adapt. Adapt and win. Adapt and thrive. This is true. But what I did notice is that with Black Ops 2, there's a lot more setups that people can use as opposed to what they would do in MW3, which was just literally ACR or the uh, MP7. Like, that was pretty much it. Yeah, that's all that that's every, every that's all they ran in Modern Warfare 3 2. So so it's 3. nice <laughs> it's nice to actually see them be able to use, you know, the MSMC, the PDW, 
A uh, little bit of MP7 action in there. So Yes, I, I saw Rambo use the MP7 a lot, uh, which works out because that gun wasn't buffed or nerfed, so it's kind of where it's always been the whole time. So nothing's been changed on it. So if you know that weapon well, you know, it'll still play well. Yep. But that's about all we have time for, Florian. It is. Yeah. So say bye. Bye, guys. Bye. Like a face.